Hey, uh, Chris Hesselbein here, and I am going to be showing you how to set up the advanced version of my XP calculator and leaderboard solutions for uh, like a middle or secondary classroom. Uh, this solution is available on insertcoin.org. Uh, the basic calculator is more for an elementary classroom, uh, anything with like less than 75 students. Uh, the advanced XP calculator, like I said, is set up more for a secondary model with multiple classes and uh, many students. We can do about up to 500. So um, I'm going to show you how to get this started and we're going to have to first create a Google form. And this Google form is going to be very easy. There's only going to be two questions on it. Uh, there's going to be the first question, which will be a multiple choice question. It says name. And we're going to leave the options alone for now. We'll come back and fill those in later. And the second question is just going to be a short answer question. It's going to be called points. There you go. Two questions. That's going to be your XP input. Now we're going to start a spreadsheet to collect our data. And we can do that from responses. Click the little green icon. And it is going to create a spreadsheet for us. Um, so every time we input uh, data into a form, it's going to go right to the spreadsheet name, points, done, easy. What I've made for you is a way to take all that data and, uh, you know, rank it and sum it and make it meaningful. So let's go back to insertcoin.org. Let's find the advanced XP calculator. This is a blog post that outlines all the steps, so I'm just going to scroll on down here. Uh, and here is the link to the Google Sheet, so I'll click on that. Now this sheet that we're looking at is view only to you, so you're going to need to copy it to your results spreadsheet that you just made. So I'm going to head down to the bottom here. I'm going to use a drop down menu and I'm going to copy to and I'm going to find the spreadsheet that I most recently have been working with. So recent and example input XP, that's what I'm looking for. Select, so now it's copying this XP calculator sheet to my, to my uh, form responses spreadsheet. And right now it just popped up down here on the bottom. So let's take a look at it. It says copy of XP Calculator 3.0. You're going to have to set this up so it works with your class. The first thing you're going to have to attend to is the orange roster section. You're going to need to put in the real student name. You can put in the name that you would like to have appear on the leaderboard. Could be the real student name, could be an avatar. Uh, you can put in a guild, a team, a site, or a school, just like uh, this is room for putting your students into teams. Um, you can also put in the hour if you have multiple classes, so hour two, hour three, hour four. Email, optional for now, that's just uh, an experiment for me for later. So um, fill out your roster and then take a look at the yellow section. The yellow section is where you get to determine the uh, XP threshold. So uh, you get to decide how many experience points it will take for the students to level up, get to the next level. You can also de determine the, uh, the title, what you want to call each level, and, and it'll report that out. Uh, but once you do those things, this calculator is set up and it'll run all on its own. So here's the most important and trickiest part of this. We need to take the students, so column A, and we need to make that match exactly the name choices on question one of our form. So I'm going to go back to our form. I've copied those names and I'm going to go to our name question and I'm just going to paste that roster into my form. So now I have all of my students as a choice in my multiple choice name question. So what that allows me to do now is I can actually put in data. Here we go, names. So I can give Jerry, I'll give Jerry uh, 20 points. And then I will submit another response and give, how about Sarah? Sarah deserves some points too. You give her uh, uh, 25 points and submit. So all this data is now going into my spreadsheet and it's being calculated by my calculator. 
So now you can see that the green section is populating the name, the XP, the rank, the avatar level, title, guild, hour. It's, kind of, it's bringing all of that stuff together into a, you know, a ranked list. Then uh, I've also broken out a lot of other data for you, like uh, this is an hour leaderboard. So which class is, uh, is doing well in first place? Uh, looking at uh, which guild is, uh, is doing well. Uh, we're looking at total XP. We're looking at the, uh, the uh, XP by hour, or average XP by hour. We're looking at XP by guild or average XP by guild. I've also included lots of pre-made charts. Of course, you can make your own charts and use them, but I've added a top 10 overall leaderboard, uh, an XP combined t uh, total, XP by class, average XP by class, XP by guild, and average XP by guild. So lots of data that you can share with your students. Okay, so if we want to get this data uh, from this spreadsheet onto a website, I need to make sure that this spreadsheet is viewable by everyone. So I'm going to go to my share button and I'm going to click advance and I'm going to change my privacy settings so that anyone on the web can see this. And done. So now when I see the little globe up there, it means that anything that I publish from the spreadsheet will be viewable on a website. Okay, then I go and make a quick Google site. New Google Sites is great for this application. It's super easy. I just put my title in and you can see I've already put some charts in and if I want to add any charts, all I have to do is from the lower right, click on charts and then find my spreadsheet that my data is in. Come on. There it is. And uh, here are all the available charts that are in that sheet. So I can just choose one and add it right to my site. And what's great is that every time I update my data by uh, submitting the form, the XP calculator updates and this website updates. So once I get these forms set, I don't have to update my website anymore. It's just going to run on its own every time I submit the form. So that's what we did. We made a form. We got the spreadsheet ready with our roster. We took those charts and we put them into a website. And just remember the most important thing is that if you add a student, you're going to have to add the student both to the orange roster and to your form input as well. So that should get you started. Uh, for more information uh, and just other cool stuff about gamification, just head to insertcoin.org. Um, and you can check out my uh, Insert Coin series. Uh, it's a nine-part blog series about my, uh, my philosophy on, on gamification. And uh, if you're interested more in leaderboards, uh, you can check out Six Tricks for Shameless Leaderboards uh, because uh, leaderboards can be a, a touchy subject. You can ride the line between fame and shame and be very careful with your students. So um, anyway... I hope you have great luck with this. Let me know what's working, how I can help, and uh, have a fun time gamifying your classroom.